Hello beautiful people out there, welcome back to this video and today in this video we will talk about how you can fix a Touch ID problem on your iPad. So if you are using an iPad with a Touch ID and it doesn't matter what type of iPad you're using right now, if it is not working, don't worry, just go ahead and keep watching this video to fix your problem. The very first things we're going to talk about is to clean your Touch ID because what happens if, if it has a lots of dust and particle on here and then you'll be able to see the problem is coming. It also happened with your finger as well. If you see your finger is not dry or it's if it's like wet, then the problem can happen with itself. Okay, so make sure to clean. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you can do it. So you can use anything like that to clean your touch ID. And also what you can do it is highly recommended if you have a lots of dirt on your hands be sure to clean your hands before you go ahead and just use it okay and next things we're going to talk about is just go ahead reset up your touch ID on your iPad okay so if, I'm just gonna go go ahead and show you for real quick I'm just gonna go ahead and open the settings first of all and scroll down and find out your touch ID and password go ahead and enter your passcode and right after that, all you need to do, as you guys can see right here, the two, or if you have more than two or more less than two, it doesn't matter. Go ahead and just remove it one by one, just by deleting it. Afterward, go ahead and add a fingerprint to reset up your Touch ID. Now here, as you can see, an option called Add a Fingerprint. I'm just going to go ahead and place my finger, just like that. And as you can see, it is continuously taken, just like that, and keep doing it until you see it's just uh, it gets done once again go ahead and tap continue and you have to enter your finger one more time in order to set your Apple Touch ID now tap continue and there you go and now go ahead and check whether it is working or not if not don't worry we have still some method that you can try to fix this problem all right, so in the next process we're going to talk about is upgrade your iPad to the latest iOS to fix this problem. So if this problem relates to the box or minor related problem, so it will eventually fix your problem. Now to do that, go ahead and open your settings and right here, go ahead and tap software update. And once you're here, you'll be able to see whether it has the new upgrade available or not. So if you see if there are new upgrade available, go ahead and update it and hopefully that will fix your problem. Even after doing that, if you're still facing this problem, don't worry, came over here once again and now all you need to do, you need to just reset all settings to fix your problem. Sometimes this problem happens because of your customization settings. Now to do a reset, go ahead and tap reset and right here, as you can see an option called reset all settings, go ahead and tap reset all settings, enter your passcode and right now Tap reset and do it once again and your iPad will take auto restart and hopefully that will fix your problem. Here one thing you have to keep in mind though, after resetting your iPad, make sure to set your Touch ID once again to fix your problem. Alright guys, after doing the reset all settings on your iPad, now you gotta go ahead and just set up your Touch ID to check whether it's working or not. I'm just gonna go ahead and tap settings and as you guys can see everything now has changed is because we've just done the reset all settings on this iPad. I'm just going to go ahead and scroll down, tap Touch ID and Password. Right now everything is off because we haven't really set up Touch ID. I'm just going to go ahead and add a finger. And once again, go ahead and use your finger to just uh, set your Touch ID. So right here, as you can see, I'm just placing my finger. Tap Continue. Just do it once again. Tap Continue. Now go ahead and choose a password that you want to use instead of your Touch ID. So I'm just going to go ahead and enter the password. All right, so I'm just going to get out of here and I'll be checking whether it's working or not. So if you guys just can have a close look here, it will show you whether your device is unlocked or not. I'm just going to go ahead and place my finger just like that. And now as you guys can see, it is unlocked and now it is working. All right, guys, this is the literal way that you guys can follow in order to fix this problem. If you have fixed the problem, please let us know in the comment box. And don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel, guys. We will see you guys in the next video.